Well, we might have to get an in-flight refill. No, no, true, but I'm just, I, I'm, you know, I'm like you, I'm flabbergasted over this. It's just crazy. Hello? Huh? Are we don't? No. Hello, hello? I thought, I think, can you, can, huh? I can hear you. I can hear you. Really? Yeah. I can't hear you. That's right. You can't hear me? I don't even know. Sweet silence. All right, well, let's see here. Ground power on, avionics on. Uh-oh, Boone has arrived. Oh, he has? Yep. Well, now he did it. Yep. What's that? Huh? Oh, what? I, I was just reading that uh, Boone has arrived. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? I don't know. Oh. All I know is that wait, we're, we're close to Tijuana. We can get some nachos. We're at the gate with the KR-350. We're about, I know. We have a high opinion of ourselves. Why, why not? I, what is this beeping I keep hearing? I don't know. They're strange, so I can't hear anything in my headset. So. Really? Yeah. Maintenance! <laughs> He can't hear nothing. Uh, how about now? Uh, Hello? Hello. Hello. Oh, no. Hello. Testing. Testing. Nah. One, two, three. I can hear you clear as a bell. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. David Clamps. Yeah, we'll just roll it. Can't, you cannot hear me, huh? That's quiet, but I can hear you now. Hello? You know, it helps when you turn up the volume. <laughs> We're off to a great start. Awesome. <laughs> I think so. All right, so we're, we're, we're parked at gate... 11. Interesting. <laughs> Craig, I like the Costco shirt. Yeah, thank you, Greg. I, oh, you liked it better? Oh, oh, I see. Well, oh. well, unfortunately, we don't have any sponsors for today's flight, so I can't, you know, <laughs> You don't get the shirt unless you pay for the sponsorship. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not a free billboard. <laughs> all right, so are we connected to the VAT skin? <laughs> don't Google that. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't Google Uh, you're no fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see here. So, oh, I guess we got to go ahead. What you need? We need uh, to get our VAT skin in so we can... <laughs> oh, that's me. Sorry. I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I got gotcha. you. Right. You had one job. Because <laughs> so we can get our IFR clearance. Where's the mouse? Oh, it's way over here. Uh, oh, I got it. I know, it's one thing about having all these, you gotta like, where is the mouse? Alright, here we go. We're connecting. BE-200. Sure. Did he? Oh. Whoa! Hello. Hello? I don't think he... Did you actually follow the flight plan? Oh, that would help. Yeah. I was like... <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. This American jet's like, why is there a King Air at the gates? I know. <laughs> Pretty high opinion of himself, like you said. Crap, no, I lost the mouse. Again. It's right here now. Oh, it's over here. Whoa. So I think you got to go that way. No? trapped in the box. Oh, here it is. Hello? 
has the mouse? I don't know. Or is it down below? He might have these monitors down below. Oh, that guy's pushing away. He's that... pushing back. He's like, I'm getting the hell out of here. These guys. Where is the mouse? I know. Maintenance! <laughs> oh, I found it. Never, Never mind. mind. Okay. He found the mouse. Okay. I have. <laughs> no, that's not what I asked for. Enter. There we go. All right. Okay. All right, so we got that. So we obviously are not going to get our uh, for clearance from them, so. And. Yeah, like our IFR clearance edge file. <laughs> Let's see here. Got a feather. Okay. I still don't know why people ask that. Oh, boy. San Diego approach just came on. We don't have to talk to them. Oh, approach, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How do you? Sometimes they do. What does it mean when they say top down, like approach that handles all approaches? Yeah. Well, yeah. Whatever is, whatever is, yeah. Whatever is a controlled airspace below that controller's position is top down. Right. So, like, I just know that sometimes it's very interesting. Like, you'll have an approach for one airport. All of a sudden, some are only doing it for that airport, and some are doing it for it all. It just depends on how the airspace is drawn. Yeah, it's it's kind of it can be for me who does not control. I mean, you want to know the easiest way to figure it out? What? Just pull up a approach chart for the airport that you're leaving, or pull up the the, the taxi diagram, and it'll have the approach facility uh, on the frequency list. So I, yeah, so zoom in there. Yeah, Palm Springs, Unicom Tower. Yeah doesn't have it on that but if you ever but you could also go to oh there it is right there departure oh socal departure yeah so socal departure so if socal was online right now you know who the top down radar guy is for this airport okay okay i didn't know that that was there all right good to know yeah let's see off 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 think how is it that it shows up oh yeah I don't know how it gets down there yeah me neither it, the mouse is stuck in the box it gets down there. Okay. And move the mouse to the right uh -huh. all of these monitors here on the, are on the left hand side of the system Oh, it did it again, Ray. It it failed out the engine. Oh, let's see here. Is it this one? There we go. Yeah, you just gotta keep pressing it while you're spinning it. Okay. Hey, Ma, check it out. Two hands. <laughs> Left engine. That's it. Jeez. Here we go. Spinning one. <laughs> Fuel bump. It is. All right. We got one and two started. Gen on Gen 1, reset. Gen 2 on and reset. Auto feathers armed. 
Nav lights on, taxi lights on, strobes on. All right, we should be ready for push and start. Oh, wait, we're ready for push. <laughs> yeah, we've already made the start part. Yeah, <laughs> push it out, push it out, way out. That's it. So we're supposed to be taking off from three one left. Do you say so? I you don't know follow your lead, Captain. I d I don't know why we don't do three one right. No, three one left. So that'd be just fine. So we'll just take uh we'll push nose to the left and we'll just take Bravo to Alpha for three one. Which is three one zero. Heading bug is in. And what is, uh. Okay. Alright, here we go. I got the borrow for you. Oh, okay. 2975. 2975, alright. There you go. I thank you, good sir. Try to make myself useful. <laughs> and do do do. So we're gonna climb to a great altitude of Uh oh, where is it? Twenty thousand feet. Oh, where'd you get? Where is that? It's on the options. Oh, on the options. Yeah. Oh. Go to the options. That's where it's at. Oh, that's pretty slick. I didn't know that was there. Well then, fine. Cool Off beans. we go. Did he file a departure? He didn't. Did he? Just check thermal view. Or okay. Yep. All right, hide. All right, how do we get this thing to push back? Okay, so we're gonna go here, and then there's your push, and then push it again to stop your push. All right, parking brake is released. Yeah, there's no sound in this, right? There's no, there's no sound. No sound in the headset. Again? Yeah. I turn it back up. Oh, now there is. I think he's. I think he might have a loose connection. Yeah. Okay. Now I can hear. Yeah. Okay. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Off the ground simulation sweet setup. He says. Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, this is... I take all credit for this. <laughs> <laughs> this is built and maintained and flown by the master craftsman in the beach house. And we just stole it for the day. Yeah, we just stole it. We're going to fly it like we stole it. fly it like we stole it, for sure. And we did put gas in the going or what? I don't know. I think... This is a corporate plane. We're not waiting for some ground crew. Cycle, cycle the uh, parking brake. Oh, there you go. Wow. Imagine. <laughs> Palm Springs. Is that like a soap? you're into hands. 
Oh, that's Irish Spring. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, product. Product, product. <laughs> if Dean flew that sim, no localizer would be safe. Yeah, that's very true. That is very true. Dean has a knack of dragging every localizer antenna through his inner carriage. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to turn to the left here. All right, uh, flaps are set for takeoff. Trim is set for takeoff. Parking Mark, brake remember, is released. This is my line. This is my side of the Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. You have both throttles, but these are my propping. <laughs> All right. So if I put that, I'll put that in the reverse if I want to. I'm just saying. Why do I have a rudder boost? Off. Did you run your checklist? Do we have one? Yeah. We do. Well, these two switches are not on the checklist yet, but those need to be on. Oh. Well, that's on his side of the cockpit. I can't cross the line. <laughs> Although I will, because he touched the he, he he dealt with the parking brake, which is on my side. There, I fixed your rotor boost. You're welcome. We should probably turn on the blowers. Uh, cabin air is a good thing. I yep, think. Those are right. Left and right bleeds, right? Yep. And if you want air, leave that in auto, right? Uh, yeah, that remains the same. There, there's your uh, cabin air. And your eyeball vent is closed. And yep, mine is closed. One day when my sim grows up, it will too. <laughs> All right, you know your radios aren't going, right? We don't have them right here. You're already on the Palm Springs Sea Town. Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought. Uh, there. I forgot. I forgot that thing does it all. Now look. One works. Nap one and nap two works. Uh, Is that why they're brighter? Comp two do not work. Is that why they're brighter? For dodos like me. <laughs> this transponder doesn't matter though, right? Because you, you drive it through this one. Yeah, I drive it through either the 750 or the 650. Either one will work. Which way are we headed? Southeast. You ready? That is affirmative, sir. We are ready to rock and roll. Palm Springs traffic, yellow seven, no, 209. Departing runway 31 left to the southeast. Palm Springs traffic. <laughs> Palm Springs is better than Irish Spring. I mean, I was just saying. I saw that. Oh well, off we go. We don't need it. We'll, we'll pick it up later. <laughs> oh, I should call out stuff. Oh. Uh, v rot. No, rotate. V rot. V rot. V something. Yeah, V ref something. Going up. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I forgot. I was going to reach across. <laughs> Never. I'm not going to say that. Never mind. <laughs> I almost got you. <laughs> you want your flappage up? <laughs> I always like to have my flaps up. <laughs> yes, please. your flaps. I need some, some more of that clean, clean wing action. <laughs> All right, off we go. You think they got enough... Uh, Windmills out here? <laughs> There's a few. <laughs> Let's get our airspeed up a little bit more here. Oh, that's interesting. No 
what? G no GPS thing. Oh. I probably forgot something. <laughs> <laughs> probably did. And of course. Well, we can do it this way. We're going old school. Oh no! Too low terrain. Ah, uh, too low. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. I don't live on the edge of terrain. I got eyes I can see. Alright. It's, uh... 2,000. Sure, why not? There you go. There's your flight director. Follow the green winged line. Palm tree, Palm Springs traffic. Yellow, 209, departing the area to the south. Uh, west of the airport, 4,700. Let's go, Palm Tree. Broadcasting into the CTAF, that's uh, probably no one listening to me since everybody stays on Unicom. Yeah, 122.8 typically. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, today's flight, Palm Springs, Catalina. James has never landed at Catalina Airport. Nope. So we're going to have him give that a shot. Uh, like Madonna's, I'm a virgin. Landing for the very first time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, yes. I was just looking at that. I think we're dragging a ground power car behind us. Oh, that's way better. We just dropped it on that poor golf course. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can. Don't look, it's not pretty. <laughs> Somebody call 911. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not good. Yeah. Hey, four. Yeah, <laughs> four. <laughs> well, Kiwi Flyer might take out uh, localizer antennas, but we drop ground power uh, units on people's heads. <laughs> No, we did not. I tried to. <laughs> I wanted to. Man. You know what? Smoking an engine, this thing is a lot better than smoking a brisket. <laughs> That's true. You don't have to stay up all night. You, you can do it in less than 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you know the aircraft doesn't like you when you go to start it and just says fail. Instrument emergency lights. Yeah, we don't need that. 
We don't need this. We do right. no need no stinking lights. Alrighty. Where's our distance meter? Where's that at? Distance to the VOR. Oh, the, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Ten miles. Yep. But here we're gonna cut the corner. Uh, I need. Let's see here. Two, three. Yes. Oh, where are you dialing us? What are you? What VOR are you getting us into now, though? Uh, it's gonna. This is the nest for them. Oh. It's Victor 208. Oh, okay. The outbound. Forward. You got us in the outbound vector? Yes, sir. And then roger, roger. Flight director to happiness. There you go. That'll cut the corner. All right, cutting corner. Now, into the mountains. It seems appropriate that we're cutting corners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's cut the corner. Into the right mountains. into the mountains. Yeah, that was a good plan. I love it when a plan comes together. Well, you know, so I'm not going to be too eager to bank this one too hard. <laughs> I'm going to pick the highest mountain to go over. Well, we're pretty fast, though. I mean, I could give you more feet per minute if you want to. I think, I think we're going to be fine, actually. Yeah. I can see the other side of the mountain, so I'm not worried about that first ridge. <laughs> see, if I couldn't see behind the first ridge, then I'd be a little worried. Thousand feet, landing lights off, taxi lights cool. off. So what is what is the lateral mode of the AP? So right now the autopilot. I'm not sure your question, but right now the autopilot, the flight director is being driven off of the heading mode, and I just I'm just using a VOR, uh, a thermal VOR to join Victor uh, two eight to whatever the SCX S. SXC is the exit point for Victor 2 <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm flying yellow flights again. I, <laughs> it is a ZHU controller fan flight. <laughs> They're showing me how the magic happens. What's that? Oh. Uh, transponder to altitude. That's because we're pros. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly what we that's are as pros. That's exactly what we are. Pros. Yep, here comes your Victor Airway. Prepare to be yep. vectorized. Because I'm old and my eyes don't work, is I have to zoom way in to 
be able to see the headings on the IFR charts. I haven't figured out a way to make the font bigger. Ray, did you just hear that? Who's that? He's talking about how he can't read the Navigraph on the pad. I can't. I can't. I can't read it on my see on my 1080p monitor either. I can't have to zoom way in. See, Ray? See? All right, here we go. I'm gonna change your viewer over to this guy, and we're gonna go we're gonna reverse this. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> How do I hook it up to this now? <laughs> Actually, the, he the heading one works better. Yeah, we'll just stick with that. There you go. Cool. It's 263 off of the uh, Julian VR. Okay. Alrighty. 263 off the Juliet? Yep. Off this next VR. Oh, yep, there it is. Oh, what's interesting is... Stand by and watch us crash. <laughs> Good thing there's no standby altimeter. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. Oh. oh, we forgot the pair Windows license. That's what it was. What's that? I don't know. Oh. No data. It did that to me yesterday too. I don't know why. No, oh, really? Yeah. Huh. I think you need to update your wide client, dude. That's probably it. Because I think he's got a wide client now that for 2020. I know, I was just seeing that, I was like, well... I think if we just fly in circles, it'll be okay. You know what? <laughs> we'll put up the speed brakes and it will go right past us. Okay. It's okay to taxi in 12 seconds. Oh, okay. <laughs> we don't need this guy. Yeah, just 
turn off the non-essentials. That's what it'll do, is just turn off the non-essentials and it'll save everything. Yeah, we'll just stick with the Garmin 750. We'll have enough watts to turn everything back on. Let's see here. You don't need those auto feathers anymore, do you? Oh, probably not. Well, there you go. I turned the feathers off. We're okay to taxi. Or maybe not. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, don't press any buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I push buttons. Sorry about that. Oh, I don't think I forgot to do. Can you do a stall? We can do anything we want once. I know. That update did us a good job. Really apps that have to run. It's a nuts the amount of apps, so yeah. Many, so many apps that have to run. Oh, are you running the duck? Yeah. Yeah, see, my lame duck I don't use anymore. know what altitude we're at looking out the window I'd say eh, pretty high kind of think uh bring aircraft to a stop <laughs> as soon as practical as soon as practical dang that realism <laughs> well, i think he just hit the bypass switch ready to go in 34 seconds we do that yeah. all right so well we're a little high not too bad oh I, should, I guess I should do this part here we still don't have any GPS signal which is weird but that's fine whatever GPS is oh, on the there's no GPS functionality oh so it's all slant it's just all ground based all radio, uh, radio. Set 
20. I, yeah, I thought you, it was 20,000. Sounds good. Start figuring out when we need to start descending too. Uh, yeah, good question. I don't know. Let me look at the weather for a second, cause I. <laughs> oh. Okay, two six zero seven. Ten mile visibility. Broken at nine hundred. Overcast at seventeen. So there you go. And since we have no GPS to this, which means you get to fly the VOR Alpha approach. Okay. Which you're not going to like. Oh? Like, at all. Oh? Because the runway is like this, and the VOR Alpha dumps you in like this. Which means you have to fly a circle of land. Which, you know, would be okay. Assuming that there's a ceiling. <laughs> the, the, the minimums are 978 feet and a half. Weather is broken at 900, which means it's 78 feet below bend, so broken. broken. But you, oh. got, you got the visibility. Well, this should be interesting then. What could go wrong? Yeah, yeah, exactly. You could also fly the VOR DME approach, which would actually put you in a slightly better position for a right base to landing versus a left downwind. Actually, this one might actually be better because your minimums on this one. Oh, well. Actually, no. I take that back. This is not a good option. Because you have to land on Plan's going to crap, James. Hey, I wouldn't expect a yellow flight to go any other way. Two six zero seven, so we have to land on two two. So let's see here. What are my restrictions on this approach? When is going to be the most appropriate? On the way we're coming in. Gosh dang it, that's not what I want. What would you do, Chad? What would Chad do? Yeah, what would Chad do? Actually, you know what? Let's just do the VR DME. That's fine. And we'll do this one. VR DME. And. And you uh, have. Where are we at? Do you have a Catalina? VOR in right now? Not yet, but I will. 1415 is what it is. You read my mind. I was right about to do that. Oh my gosh, Navigraph. I cannot read. So funny, okay, I'm going to slowly start our descent.
Oh, okay, yeah, we're only three miles from that. From Oceanside. Oh, you got you put in Oceanside. Yeah, well, I'm trying to follow the flight plan. Oh, so gotcha. Oceanside first, then Avalon. Oh, okay. All right, so now we're on the outbound of uh, Gotcha. <laughs> outbound of Oceanside. Outbound on Oceanside. Got it. Roger. Yeah, so you're you're like a wee bit to the. Uh... There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. For some reason, I I I was uh, there, there, looking. There. That flight director will get you there. I thought uh, we were going. Uh, we were tuned into there. Catalina. What altitude would you like, Captain? I am here to <laughs> serve. <laughs> How about 10,000? All the cool kids are doing it. Sure, why not? There you go. Let's 10, go have 000. some fun with that. 10,000, there's a 1,500 foot per minute decent on your flight director. There you go. Oh, love your VS one notch. This guy? Yeah. So the flashing alt is in, it's waiting to capture, is that what that says? Yep. Okay, so it's in, it is in VS mode. Yep. Solid VS and blinking alt is VS mode. Gotcha. Okay. Super. Super duper. By the way, if you make it, they're going to want a landing fee. So make sure you pay that at the tower. Oh, that's what you're here for. It's your wallet. <laughs> Just got pinned in the ceiling. What was that? You see the overspeed? Oh, yeah, I don't, usually don't pay attention to that on yellow trips. <laughs> yeah, last time we didn't pay attention to that, we got the blue screen of death. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You have caused damage to the airframe. Would you like to reset your flight? No, I wanted to see it spin out of the sky. <laughs> and I wanted to ride it all the way to the ground, Microsoft. I wanted to contemplate my flight choices all the way to the crash site. <laughs> okay, so have you, when's the last time you flew a VOR in the approach? Like, never? So this, you know this is going to be a full procedure to approach, right? Uh, okay. You know what a procedure it is, right? Um, is that on a magenta line? Uh, hey Ray, can you give me a sharpie <laughs> so, I, so I can draw a magenta line on, on the on the EFIS forum? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to do that. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm here to serve, Captain. <laughs> DME, you said? Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's going to be a turn to the northeast. Call up the charts here and take a peek. Yeah, it's going to be a turn to the northeast, then we're going to fly outbound, and then we're going to turn to the northwest, outbound, and then back in on the procedure turn. Alright. So I'm actually going to switch this now. Alright, so we'll cross over the VOR. And go outbound on a course of 352 for five miles. Then turn to 307. Then uh, make a 180 back onto 172. Am I reading that right? Uh, sure. Sounded, sounded good to me. I was looking at the chart. I was trying to read navigate, navigate some possibly small headings on Victor Airways. But Did you hear that, Ray? Actually, Catalina traffic, traffic 213 lining up and waiting. Dang, now we're going to have to be professional. <laughs> this poor guy at Avalon on the intercom for he has no idea what's coming.
the altitude we want. Uh, what? I'm gonna go down. Let's go down to 6,000. Yeah. It's Trailing traffic, Tropic 200, taking off straight over to uh, LAX. Trailing traffic. Pass through 10,000, landing lights coming on. Kelly traffic, traffic, 213, clear runway. Kelly traffic. Kelly traffic, traffic, 213. Yep, so, what'd you say? Outbound on a. Yeah, so cross the. Gonna cross the VOR, Catalina VOR, and we're gonna turn outbound 352. Yep. We're yes, gonna sir. take that for five miles, and then we're gonna turn left to 307. Well. No? No, you're fine. I mean, basically any time after Wrigley, you can make the procedure turn. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's fine. You're right. I mean, you can only descend below, it's 3,400 3, 3, feet within 10 miles of Wrigley, so you want to make the procedure turn within 10 miles of Wrigley. So effectively, you can go out to 15 miles maximum with your procedure turn if you want to come back in. And that, I'm, this is, I'm getting that from here. 3,400. Right. 10 miles from Wrigley. So that that's your minimum safe altitude for the for the area within the Catalina VOR. Right. And so. That, and this is your if you're you know so Wrigley. No, no, the SoCal online. Oh hell. <laughs> they found out. Oh, now I gotta figure out how to do this mouse thing again. All you have to do is answer him. Oh. I can eat the. Can be confusing. Yeah, it's weird. I thought it was so cool. Anyway. Departure Yellow uh, 209 is uh, 7,300 descended for 6, and uh, we're 14 east of the Catalina VOR. I like SoCal approach. Your call sign only. It'll be Yolo uh, 209. SoCal approach, Los Angeles altimeters, 2991, ident. 2991, and we're already identing for you, uh, yellow 209. Yellow 209, radar contact, one, one miles east of the Santa Catalina VOR, say altitude. Position check, 6500, we were descended for six, and like to put the VOR DME approach on request. Yellow 209, expect VOR, DME, Bravo, approach. Send and maintain 5,000, turn right, heading 360, vectors to Down to 5,000, and a right turn to 360 for Yellow 209, vectors to approach. Well, there it goes. Traffic 213, Catalina, or sorry, not Catalina, uh, SoCal approach. Uh, 4,500 feet going down. 5,360. Bam, that's pro. That's pro. Yeah, right I pushed the ID button before you even I know, that's pretty cool. I'm so I about almost hit it, and I was like, wait a minute, I think you just hit it. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> it's not a shame. It's not a game. Two, <laughs> one, three. So, Cal, approach. Are you looking for a flight following, or how would you like to get down? There you go, I sent your, uh, uh, no flight following. Go. We're just gonna fly VFR. Oops. Jump back to one three. Roger. Squawk five one seven seven. Five one seven seven. Yeah, this is not gonna be it. <laughs> I mean, he could have just cleared us the Santa, uh, the Catalina VR, 
and told us to report the presumed turn inbound and then clears for the approach of Wrigley and forgot about us. Traffic 213, radar contact, eight totally miles north of the this. center, Catalina, VMRC. This should be cool, though. 4,500 feet. Traffic 213, roger. Maintain VFR, you're clear to enter LA Bravo airspace. Make a left base route. There you go, reset your altitude bug for it. Report oh, thanks. Roger, traffic 213. Disavow player would like to remind you that we don't want to see any mountain goats in the clouds. <laughs> That's good advice. I feel like that was hard earned advice. Zero nine or descend and maintain two thousand five hundred. Two thousand five hundred yellow two zero nine. I should have told him we could take the procedure turn. That way because a lot of controllers get stuck on the whole vectorizing thing and they forget that they can just clear people to you know the outbound turn and Well maybe he likes to vectorize. Yeah. He must, I mean, there's not a whole lot of people on frequency, so it's not like he's that busy. Right. Now, I bet you... If but I'm he, lazy, so I like to just make the pilot do the work. I bet you, though, if he was busy, he'd be like, yeah, figure it out. <laughs> I have for services unavailable. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of snark to share. <laughs> <Full of snark. laughs> All right, I'm gonna get ahead of this guy, and we're gonna set up uh, 172 inbound course. They turn like uh, to attention I'm down gate 130. Thank you for the ATC. Appreciate it. There you go. That's gonna be your final flies. approach course. As soon as he uh, lets us do our thing here. Yellow 209 or turn left heading 200. Turn 200, yellow 209. So basically, oh, we're going direct Wrigley, okay. Yeah, just fly this heading. So fly this heading until the needle comes in, and then just fly the final approach course heading. Got it. Yep. Maintain 2,300 until Wrigley, which is uh, 5 DME from the, Santa, uh, from the Catalina Viewer. 5? Okay, yeah. Okay. Now remember, the runway's, you're coming in like this, the runway's like this. Right. So, 25 to 1 D, wind 2, 2, it's zero, probably a high likelihood one, we go around. Five left. Okay, that's cool. Which, if we do, you just go direct to the VOR, climb to 3,400 and hold. Right, so what are you saying? The runway is going to be... You're coming in like this, the runway's like this. So it's going to be... Oh, wow. You're going to have to break off and do like a slight, you know, right base. The final 
All right. It's not aligned with the runway. And you can see that right here. See it? You see the... Oh, I can't zoom in. Oh, here we go. Zoom in. You can kind of see it. See how the runway's this way? And you're yep. coming in like that. Got it. So you got nine miles out. So you got four miles to Wrigley. I don't actually don't like this heading. Yeah, make sure you fly that heading because it's uh, you're gonna need that. You're, you're drifting to the east there. I'm gonna turn you a little bit. Yeah, fly that. You gotta get over. Yellow two zero nine R. We've got no targets in the vicinity of Santa Catalina Airport. Radar service terminated. Report cancellation of IFR in the air on the ground on this frequency. Change of advisory frequency. Our right, exchange Brave will report with you and uh, wish us luck on this low ceiling yellow 209. Might be talking again soon. Yeah, see you in a bit. Catalina traffic yellow 209 is uh, about to the northeast on the VOR Bravo. Uh, so, no, I can't leave. Yeah, you're too far to the east. I, but I went through this thing and it's like. Yeah, you're way too far to the east. So, I keep the. Yeah, just keep turning. We gotta capture this final approach course, otherwise, we're gonna be screwed. Oh, and it locked up. <laughs> of course, it did. Everything broke. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. All right, turn to the left. Turn to the left. Capture that needle. There you go. Up oh, there's the mountains. Hey, is that a goat? 500. <laughs> Did you hear that? That's why you're supposed to hold that 2300. I know, I know. <laughs> there you go. All right, push that nose over. <laughs> okay, you can descend to 2200. That's as low as you can go. Keep that VOR, and you don't want to start configuring the airplane. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, there's the runway. Yeah, see, there's no way to even do that. Yeah, you're... Nah. Yeah, you're the there's... There, how can you see that even? You're, it's over with. You're missed approach. Oh, no, I know. Yeah, you're 2.2 miles, you're missed approach. Just, uh, I'll tell you what, fly straight to the VOR. Here, fly that. Just fly that. And, uh... And climb up to uh, 3,400. Yeah, just fly that heading for now. <sighs> yeah, so caught me. Look, 209 uh, is on the published mist at Catalina. 209. So can the approach I did. I did two zero. We're leveling at thirty five hundred. We're gonna enter the hole now. Level two zero nine our radar contact two miles south of the Santa Catalina. Correction, one mile south of the Santa Catalina VOR. Verify altitude. Three thousand five hundred in the central section yellow two zero nine. Hello two zero nine Roger. Fly the published list. Yeah, we'll just enter the hole in Catalina. We'll uh, have a request for you in a minute. Thanks, you old user. Alright. Just fly this heading for a little bit, then I'm going to have you turn over to the right. American 25, 20, attack set of parking. Yeah. Juliet, Charlie, cross from 125, right at Juliet. Alright. Uh, Fly that heading bug. Yeah, that's low. So you gotta be like on that needle and at 2200. Yeah, but even if you're on that needle at 2200, I don't know how you can do that. I don't know, you might be able to. Yeah, just keep the turn going. Try that again, or do you want to go someplace else? Uh, because even when I was at 2200, it didn't see it until we were on top of it. Yeah. I mean, as low as you can go is 2220 on the MSL 600 EGL. 
I mean, we could try it one more time, but if it doesn't work, we're probably going to have to go off to LAX. Right, okay. Come on, watch you climb there. Yeah. There you go. Capture that needle. What do you think? Is it even doable with that uh, overcast like that? Maybe. Yeah, but you can't. You can't abandon the approach. Yeah, but you can't approach LA altimeters two nine or nine or one. Yeah, but if you, but if we were on it closer this time around, we could we could get down faster. It might work. Send via the Hollywood one arrival. Two o'clock. It's Seaview. Clear to ILS from two to five left. So right now we're just in the published holes. Why don't we just go ahead and go off to some place that we got? I mean, look at this. We're at 3,400, and I mean, I don't unless it clears up more. Is the viewpoint okay from my side, or is it just my side? It's okay. For some reason, the system changed. Buddy, you want to try it? Two zero two. I know the train's scary. Circle <laughs> approach, uh, traffic 213, yeah. we're on base, and we're about to turn right, final. Fly the, uh, left. fly the heading. 213, traffic 215 left. Because we're in the, we're just Clear the, we need the motion until we figure it out. Oh, you want me to make a left yeah, here? Yeah, make a left, yeah. Alright. He's expecting us to fly the public hole, so we gotta fly the hole. You want the autopilot? Uh, I kind of, I've usually been doing this by hand, but. Yeah, that's fine. So you want to try this one more time and then. Sure. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Uh, how about this here? Let's do this. If we, if I get this a shot, we gotta switch seats though. Because I need the viewpoint. Yeah, so, tell you. Let me get level here. And then get ready to come on over. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that so we can do the switch. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's she doing? I don't know. Autopilot ready. Come on. Yeah, she's not. Oh, okay. She was wanting to drive us into the ground. That was weird. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it, yeah. That was weird. China seven three two seven heavy flight heading zero seven zero right. descend and maintain two thousand six hundred vectors. Oh, there we got a nice patch open sky there. Santa Catalina Airport via radar vectors direct 
fly heading 360, maintain 3000, this would be, actually, fly heading 360, maintain 3400, this would be vectors for the approach. Okay, if you want to just, uh, if you want to just send us from Santa Kent, the VOR, we can take the procedure turn and report the procedure turn impound if that's easier for you. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm planning to do. Okay, 360 up to 3400, I believe you said, uh, for yellow 209. Yes, very clear. Give me a clear entry. Sorry, I stepped on you. Okay, so 360 for now and up to 3400 for yellow 209. Wrigley at or above 3,400, cleared VOR, DME, Bravo. Uh, okay, uh, alright, we'll fly the procedure turn and then turn Wrigley, Wrigley at or above 2,300, and clear for the VOR, Bravo, Yellow 209. Okay, yeah, he's... Yellow 209 on the outbound, cross Wrigley at or above 3,000. Okay, Wrigley at or above 3,000 on the outbound, thanks, Yellow 209. Yeah, because he said you're dir cleared direct Wrigley. Yeah, but I, I got to Docker. Hold on, I think about this. What is the outbound? 3-5-2. The outbound is 3-5-2, yes. Wrigley's coming up. Yeah, it's five miles out, so that's fine. Disavow player says Catalina is now reporting what, 30, oh, 1300. So you're telling me there's a chance. Maintain 2600 till established on the local hazard. Weird ILS. I love these yokes, right? Yeah, they are nice. They are so heavy. Well, they're genuine. Yeah, it, sh it feels like it for sure. But I wanted the ones with the... Uh, Jenner Southern at 327. Maintain 2,600 until established. So you're not going to do to turn to 307? I am. Oh, okay. Because I have to get, I have to get turned around. Okay, so 307. Yeah. China Southern there you go. 327 heavy. Wind 25011. Runway 24 right. There. Departure. Thanks for X-ray. Runway two five right. Taxi via room. Okay. 
and then you'll turn back to yep. one, one, two, seven. Yes, sir. You want me to dial that in? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. 87, runway 25 right. I don't have a timer. Taxi, but <laughs> five right at timer yeah, I don't have a timer on me either. All right, one two seven is in for you. You should get a kitchen timer, right? Egg timer. All right, good enough. Yeah, this one here. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Too low. There you go. I can start the timer. Right at forty-two forty-four. Climb via the summer two departure. Lay center close. Radar service terminated. All right. Yeah. Said, thanks for the you reset the uh, OBS to uh, 172? The what? The, I got it. I'm sorry. OBS? Oh. Yeah. Sorry. OB1 Kenobi. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, Wrigley to 20, yeah, 23 at Wrigley. jump over here? Do it. Look at it, it's clearing up. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> I didn't do nothing. You can see the island now. Three, two, seven, that looks heavy, a lot easier. Roger. Huh? I that looks a lot easier now. Climbing, maintain, 2, All right, so I got, I got down to 2300. It's okay, good. I'm gonna, I'm trying to find the, where do you see it? It should be up on top of that plateau right there. It's so close. You have to climb a little bit. Hello, two, zero, nine, our radar service terminated. Report cancellation of IFR in the air or on the ground on this frequency. Change to advisory frequency. Appreciate you, Brew. Report with you, Yellow 209. Thanks. Alright, so one mile to Wrigley. Yeah. Yeah, this thing's heavy. On the, on the trip. Yeah. Really heavy on the trip. Alright, there we go. So I go down to 20. I think I see it up above now. Why don't you climb a little bit more? Well, I just passed, I'm just passing Wrigley, so I go down to 22. Oh. Well, I'm actually shooting. I can't well, I thought I saw it, but now I don't. I thought it was on this ridge. Straight ahead. It's got to be that ridge ahead. It's not going to be off of this one. Oh, it's right there. It's right on that plateau right there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You got it. I think we got to go over this way. Yeah, you do. Okay. You got it. Let's do this. That's right there. So you got to set up base. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it. 
collapse for you. All right, thanks. I just dumped them all. Probably broke the airplane. <laughs> it's right there. Yeah. It's right there. See it? Yeah, I, I got it right over there. Right. It just... This is... <laughs> Five hundred. Calgary traffic, you look two zero nine. It's based the final uh, runway. Watch your airspeed. Yeah, uh, I saw one hundred and five. Two cents. I can't see over the cowling. Is the problem? I got it. I'm trying to see that. I got it. I got it. My my airplane. Oh, there you go. You got it. Nice there, eight three eight nine. There you go. Yeah, just get in there. There you go. Pull up. Screw you. There you go. There you go. Short runway, by the way. Oh! <laughs> Brakes! <laughs> oh, we totally broke that airplane. <laughs> to the ramp. Was no joke. I could not see. I was once again having to stand up over the. Are you kidding me? I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> I mean, literally, is on my feet trying to look over the cowling. Hey, Jive Biscuit. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. All right. Parking brake set. Wow. That was more difficult than whenever we did the French Alps at that. Yeah. That's more because, yeah. The first time it came in, I couldn't even see the runway even when we were over it. Yeah. That's rough because it sits on so the approach takes you down to 22. Because if you look at the, uh, hold on, I'll show you something. So if you look at the airport elevation, this airport is, is challenging for a number of reasons. But, but the elevation is 1,600. Yeah. Right, so it sits on the plateau. The minutes you can drop to 22, right? So you've got, what, 800 feet? Yeah. So it drops you in a very flat uh, visual position to the runway. And you still have to make that base the final leg, right? Yeah. it's not a lined up approach. you got to be familiar with the airport. Uh, yeah, you better be on your, well, yeah. It, if you were, and, like, oh, and it's only a 3,000 foot yeah, runway. Three, but I didn't tell you that when we left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay. But, yeah, you might want to get your mains checked after this one. Yeah, this one, we might just want to push this King Air off the edge of the <laughs> runway well, down at the end of the cliff. You can check your airplane damage. Oh. On the, on the vent next, uh, the ro rotary this knob one? on the top, turn it to the right once. Press the second from the bottom button. This one? Yep. Yay! No active failures. <laughs> How about that? We hit it so hard we broke the monitor. <laughs> Didn't have to send off the emergency beacon. <laughs> that was fun, James. No, it was. That was a good well, the first one, I was like, I'm not seeing this damn runway. Yeah, it's it's because it's such a flat angle. We yeah. popped out of the clouds, like, within a half mile of the airport. There's no way. Yeah. yeah so. And then the second time around, I was like, it cleared up. And even with it cleared up, I looked at it going, It's hard. Where the hell is the thing? Yep. And then on top of it, it's not much of a strip to find. Yeah. Yeah. All right, All right, guys. That was fun. Yeah, right, we're on ground power. And what is this, 220 now? Okay. A little bit of time. All righty. Well, that was fun. Yeah. I don't know if the beach is canceling the stream or not, but if you joined, I uh, appreciate you joining. Thanks for Yeah. Thanks for you guys want to do another one on SWAT? Uh, do we have enough time? Well, it's 2.30 now. Um, you can just go back to Palm Springs. We can um, invert the flight plan. Yeah, we can do that, sure. All right, let me, let me do that. Well, actually, because uh, I'm coming.
kind of getting a he I'm getting my headache myself, so I was wanting to pop something before we go. Oh, you want to switch? Yeah. So. Right, well, I guess maybe we'll be back. <laughs> Did you pull the parking brake up? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wasn't I not supposed to? No, I just was curious. Oh. I was, wasn't sure how that worked. I hear you just fine. How about I, me? Pretty good. I try not to drool on that too much for you. <laughs> well, uh, I'm surprised you didn't drool on it after all that crazy 
How do I use this? Line. I forgot how to use it. There's that power button here on There's the side. A, yeah. Uh, you can move oh, it back right and forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Super. Yeah, wait till you use these pedals, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, they God. are. Yeah, they already feel nice. Wait, yeah, and you can control the aircraft so much better with That's those. That's awesome. All right. Okay. We have gas. D you know what? To be honest with you, I'm surprised I didn't freaking break a main or blow a tire on that landing. Me too, to be honest. Because I, like, I just planted that sucker. I was like, nope, not going around. I know. <laughs> not going to do it. Not prudent. That's, that's, it was, yeah. We were making that runway. Okay. I just, all those years of watching the carrier landings. Right. <laughs> I was looking for the three wire. <laughs> Try to set this up real quick. That's Avalon. And then... Yeah, SoCal's 24-3, so we still have that. We have plenty of fuel. Yeah. Good enough. I, we can get you some more fuel if you want. Nah, I got gas. Alright. Got plenty of Alright, so we're looking for the Burbank. And the Burbank accessories. <laughs> Lady Burbank's been good to me. Adjust the seat. All right, there we go. Let's start some engines. Do you remember how to do that? I don't. Okay. Yeah, just so basically you're already there. To do the, yeah, and you just, uh, where's the ignition? This is the igniters. Yep, so make, uh, the, uh, yep, arm, you got to arm them. Yep, okay. And then. Uh, and then gins are, batteries on, gins are off. I and, usually put them both. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll just, oh well. We'll yeah, just, and so. It, this engine will try to cut out on you, so I'm going to keep the repair engine going for you. All right, here we go. Ready? Yep. Uh, is this the... Yeah, you should hold oh, it up. I, I see it's been... Yep. And if she tries to fail on you, I'll... I got fuel full. I got turbine speed. You should hear the thunk. There, there it, it is. is. Still holding the starter. Yeah. Oh, she's not going to cut out on you this time. I had to keep hitting the reset. You're good to let go. Okay, starter cut out then. Sweet. All right, man. I... Okay, now for the left one. Give that some fuel. There we go. Got f we have fuel. Ah, right, look. Holy, there you go, Ray. They didn't die out this time. Ah, uh, there it is. There we go. I know how to do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Lots right. of demerit. Yep, there you go. Starter cut out. So he's San Diego arrival? So I'll just SoCal. SoCal. SoCal departure. SoCal departure. Yep, SoCal departure. And then we've got taxis, and we have not that yet. We have pedots are on. That was. That was uh, the ray of us. That and then the boost come on. And yeah, we're ready. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to head out. So now that we've filed IFR, right? Yeah, we, All right. this is a control airport. So let me get a hold of him. Well, you're on. Hold on. There you go. Oh, we're back onto him now? Oh. Yeah. All right. Let me get a hold of him. I want to run these guys over. <laughs> <laughs> ah, SoCal approach, yellow 209, looking for IFR clearance to Burbank. Yellow 209, SoCal departure. Which airport are you calling from? Ah, we're departing from Catalina. Yeah. 
It always confused me I first heard that clearance is on request. Wait, does that mean I gotta request it again? <laughs> The other thing about this runway is that I believe there's a 50 foot difference between this end and that end. Oh, really? So it's a steep slope. I don't remember what the difference is, but it's it's significant. Pretty significant. I can tell it's just rolling downhill here. Yep. Five zero one one runway two four right clear. You did file right, right? Runway two four right clear and every evergreen forty ten heavy. It will be a parking uh, south complex at the. Uh, pretty sure it's it's the one directly south of uh, terminal three. Terminal uh, four. Evergreen forty ten. No meowing on channel. Is that what the sound no, says? No meowing on guard. <laughs> Zero niner. There's a required tech routes between Catalina and Burbank. It's the Coastal Papa 44 tech route. Can you accept that? Oh hell. Uh, all right, stand by is one sec, please. What do you say? The Coastal it, what? It's Coastal 44 tech route. I have no idea what that is. I'm gonna have to look it up. Coastal Tech Route charts. I don't have time for that crap. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't know how to use this surface thing. I'm not even seeing... Depart... I don't have anything. Yeah, because it's a tech route. It's not going to be on... It's going to be in the airport facility guide. It's not going to be on this... Uh, it's not going to be in that Navigraph. Oh, it's not going to be on Navigraph. Nope. United 85 Whiskey Alpha. Yep. 25011 RNAV to Docker. I've never had a tech route either. I don't even know what. Honestly, I don't know what a tech route is. Isn't that just tower to tower? Yeah, it's. Hold on. You say it was Coastal 44. Hello, 209er. Affirmative, the Coastal Papa 44 tech route. I can give you a full route clearance for that. I think I got that. Is it uh, Victor 21, Seal Beach 23, LAX, and then uh, LAX 316 to Silex? That's the one. Do you want to refile or would you like a voice clearance? Oh, wait, we'll take the full route. Voice clearance? Yeah. He'll call us back in just a second here. Seal Beach. So. S Heavy to exit a parking via. I'm just gonna remove 
everything. Yankee Charlie, cross for me two four left at Yankees. Text parking via Yankee Charlie, cross runway two four left at Yankee to three forty two fifty. Thanks. United eighty five whiskey alpha, you have a departure or takeoff clearance, say it. Touchscreen things. Why does everything have to be touchscreen these days? FXC. <laughs> Get off my cloud! <laughs> Yellow 209 er Advice ready to copy clearance to We're good. Ah, uh, 209 is ready to copy. Yellow 209 er cleared to the Burbank Bob Hope Airport. Depart via the Catalina published obstacle departure procedure. The Coastal Papa 44 tech routes maintain 5,000. Expect 6,000 five minutes after departure. Departure frequencies 124.3, squawk 4601. Yellow 209 is cleared to Burbank, Bob Hope. Uh, the tech uh, route uh, procedures for the Papa 44. Uh, climb maintain 5,000, 6,000, uh, five minutes after departure. Departure at 124.3 and squawk 4601. Yellow 209, hold for release. Hold for release. Hello, two zero nine or hold for release. Read back, correct. Advise holding short number one for departure. This frequency right. change advice. Like, where is there something else you want to do? All right, uh, we'll hold for release. So advise when we're short uh, for departure, and uh, we're cleared for uh, frequency change. Yellow two zero nine. Where's Seal Beach? View? Strange. Victor. At 85, Whiskey Alpha. Oh, it's Victor 23. That's why I'm such an idiot. Alright, so Catalina, load the airway. Victor. Seal Beach. SL. Controller craft, LA Towers now online for tower services. Oh, there, there it is. is. I tower saw it. Because this touchscreen thing doesn't. There we go. Alright. Ah! Load that. That's the button I was looking yeah, for. Five SK Alpha, turn right, left now. After Seal Beach, we're going to load an airway. Victor 23 to LAX. It's so weird to go to Seal Beach and then back to LAX. It's so stupid. All right, and then it'll be the LAX 316 to Silex. So we'll load that, and then LAX to Silex to Burbank. I want to see something real quick. We're good. I don't see any obstacle departure in the reference page or the SID, so I'm not sure what mountain departure you're just referring to, so I'm going to yellow that part of it. So the only thing I want is, I want 114.15 there, which it is, great, and then, uh, what's Victor 23 off of that, in the tiny little font that Navigraph gives me? <laughs> So it's zero two two on the outbound. Okay, I think we're good. You think we got her? Yeah, we got her. Yeah, I've never done a. I don't even know what a tech route. I didn't even know tech tech route. Yeah, I'll I don't even know what that I'll is. I'll fill you in later. All right, that is like I was like, what? Yeah. I'll, I'll Where's the you. disconnect button? <laughs> okay, we're good. All right, off so we're, we go. We're we're number one for number release. Number one for departure. Yeah. 
All right. SoCal departure, Yolo 209 is uh, number one for departure. Yolo 209er. Clearance void if not off in five minutes. Released for departure. Report airborne this frequency. Change to advisory frequency. Uh, cleared for release. Report back if not airborne within five minutes and uh, frequency change approved. Yellow 209. Yellow 209. Report airborne. Uh, 209 will report airborne, yellow 209. I saw a giant. Dave's Los Angeles approach, good day. There's United 361 is saying by the end uh, Angel 4 arrival. Information access. Oh. Raise hanging out over the. United 361 uh, heavy Wait, SoCal oh. approach, thanks for X ray. Oh, I didn't switch over to it. That's because I pushed the wrong button. I'm not used to this. Actual touchscreen thing. Go for it. And Catalina traffic, yellow 209, departing runway 229 to the southwest. That'd be in northeast, actually. Oh, yeah, uh, northeast. What? No. Oh. You're right. I was thinking we were taking off. <laughs> we're taking off to the southwest, not. It's a short runway, so I'm, I'm going to oh, yeah. stand on the brakes for a while. You know what I forgot to check is our trim. I wonder what you left it at. You're good. Uh, for, you're good. You're we're good. about to find out. You're good. Your, your, your trim is set. That's wild with the cliff that just drops Yeah, off. isn't that cool, though? Yeah, that's cool. All right, I'm going to switch over. Yeah, you don't want to go that way because the mountains are... Yeah. Right. And SoCal approach, yellow 209, depart of runway 22, uh, climbing through 2,600. Radar contact, climb and maintain 6,000. Climb and maintain 6,000, yellow 209. Yellow 209, ID. It is. Ident 2209. Because I'm good at this game. west of the Santa Catalina VOR. Turn right, heading 060. Intercept Victor 20. Intercept in sector what? 20. He hasn't finished that. No. Yellow 209, we're in the right turn to 060, and I it cut out, but I believe it's intercept Victor uh, 27, right? 209er, turn right heading 060, vector to intercept. Victor 21. I think, think he says Victor 21. Alright, 060, intercept Victor 21, we're up to 6000, yellow 209. Yeah, that la I'm not catching that. Yeah, I it's like, it's cutting out. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if it's us or. But I think that's exactly what he wanted, it was 20, yeah. 21. So. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the tech route, so. Yeah. So, and I see the Victor. Two seven here. Yeah, it's Victor twenty one to seal beach. Is what yeah. It is. So, but I see twenty seven. When he said twenty seven, I was like, "Are you thought it was twenty seven? He said, but it should be twenty one to seal beach, like he said. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Whoa! See it dives. Right. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. Isn't that crazy? Why is it doing that? I don't know. This autopilot's trying to kill us. Okay. 
Yeah, it's probably saying you're not Ray. <laughs> yeah. I don't like visitors. You put the seat too far forward. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, watch this. Let's see. Let's see if I can do it this way. Vertical speed. Oh, maybe it's stuck on the VS mode because it. Oh, the VS mode was hit. Zero nine or join Victor twenty one. Resume navigation. Yeah, I'll just join Victor. Join Victor twenty one and resume no navigation. Yellow seven zero five. All right, let's try this. See what happens here. Now, see that time it worked. Okay, I think what was happening is I had, think I see now. Did you yeah. see that? Yeah. It said zero, but when I hit VS and then I changed, it was negative eighteen hundred. Yeah, I, that's. It's weird when you push that button, it sets it to negative five two five inbound positive. Although the heading's not working. Zero zero. Oh, it's because the autopilot's actually not on. Shh, idiot. <laughs> I'm good. I'm so good at this game. <laughs> Sam five twenty five SoCal approach. Okay. All right. Let's go up, guy, Dad. Sam five two five. All right. I think I've got this going the right way now. All right. Yeah. So it's. Sam five two five. Radar contacts. Thirty eight miles south of the Seal Beach. So you're gonna grab the zero two two. Is that what it is? Flight level one. Uh, to Seal Beach? It's the 21, Victor 21 to Seal Beach. I'm looking for the Victor 21 on here. Are you yeah, on the low chart or the high chart? Low uh, chart? That's a good question. Yeah, you're on the low high chart. You're direct to Seal Beach. Yeah. Yo, I'm on, I'm on low. Navigraph doesn't have it labeled, because Navigraph oh. is toying with me today. It's basically that, it's this line right here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. It's that line. Right and that's, that course is a 022. Two. Sam 525, this is my first flight in the area. Could you already give me an arrival and uh, a runway so I can start setting up? Oh, Lord. Oh, boy. Here we go. Five, Where's the mute button? Five expects Actually, it doesn't five sound like he's that busy. He's not, but like... LA altimeters. This is, yeah. Like, why would you not know what arrival you want? 25 left from Tornado. Well, because they think you're supposed to be assigned their arrival. Thank you. I guess. Uh, that's Europe. Europe, huh? does, Europe doesn't let you do anything without asking permission. Yeah, I know. <laughs> May I leave the cockpit? Nope. <laughs> May I do VFR? Nope. <laughs> May I fly a helicopter? Get lost. <laughs> May I have my filed star? No. <laughs> no, they're not that bad. I'm just kidding. I, I know, but I do know that you, you just don't. It's very, very strict. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's that's what's kind of like you can't even push and start from there. <laughs> He's like, I'm at stand four. I'm uh -huh. a 737 with white paint and red stripes and curtains in the windows and big <laughs> wheels, and I look like a big Tylenol. <laughs> yeah, no, that's very Sam, true. Five two five. Flight present heading to set to maintain seven. All right, so I'm, a, I'm actually going to switch over to Seal Beach, which is 15-7. Uh, and I'm going to try to zoom in here for my old tired eyes. Why am I getting this? Because you change radio frequency. Mm, no, there's probably something <laughs> insidious going on that, I don't, that I'm not aware of. 202. I can hear my wife. Get progressives. You can't see <laughs> kid progressives. There you go. Oh, you know what? It, you know what it is? It's these. Uh, so yeah. Oh, we're dragging the cart again too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should we drop it over the rich people near Steel Beach? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's. Yeah, let's wait. <laughs> we'll drop it over them. Yeah. I was wondering you got all that extra drag going we'll, on. We'll get them for their noise abatement. Oh, yep, just about. He's already ahead of us on that. Is there a volume on this thing? Oh, here it is. Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh, this thing's like a nightstick. How do I turn this up? What's that? Oh. Oh, it's all the way up. Yeah. Man, that controller is quiet. Yeah, he, yeah, he is. That's, you know what, though? Here's the problem. 
I wish there was a way to somehow turn up some controllers or turn down some controllers without having to go into that app. Alright, so... Alright, so it's gonna be... I think it's 092 off of Seal Beach, the popper. Look at this. Disavow player was already on the game and we didn't even know it. <laughs> he already had all the tech route all out, figured out and everything he was trying to tell us. We, we just didn't even pay attention. Did he? Yeah. So, tech routes. Oh yeah, what the heck tower, is a tech route? Tower in route clearance. So a tech route is a predefined route through a complex airspace that allows people to transition the airspace on predefined routes that ATC has designated for common transitions to keep them in the um, approach, you know, the tracons without, heavy it's, it's basically an efficient route for high, high, vol high volume airspace. So for example, in Houston, we have tech routes from one, they're from one tracon to another, right? So in Houston, we have routes from Austin to uh, through the I-90 over to Beaumont. So for people who are flying from Austin or Georgetown and they want to go on the far side of the I-90, the east side of the I-90, like Beaumont, Orange, something like that, there's tech routes that take them through the north side of the Tracon and keep them on routes that the ATC can expect and pre-plan and they don't have to... Um, United 361, cancel your landing clearance. They don't have to think about anybody on a strange route. LA Tower 120. In, in the LA Basin, it's such a complex airspace, and it's so such a high volume. Tech routes are heavily used for people going from local airport to local airport through multiple trade con sectors. Okay. Okay. I which get it. Which is why that's just why he cleared you on the Coastal 44 route because they're named routes. And so, air, you know, air traffic control dealing with all that other stuff don't have to worry about us. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's basically a prearranged. It's a prearranged corridor for IFR traffic that's transitioning trade con. And it keeps people from popping up into the center and coming back down to the tree con. It just it handles it on a fish around that everybody knows what's gonna happen. That's my 30 second tech route explanation. Well, it was a good one because I, under I understood it. <laughs> you need to look down. Isn't that amazing? I mean, look at that for 2020. Oh. Uh, oh, it's time to drop our uh, almost. Six Let's miles see here. Let's find a golf course. West, uh, <laughs> air restricted to 6, All right, I have it So the so the GPS map doesn't work, huh? That's kind of a bummer. The what? So like, if I select GPS nav, it doesn't. There's no GPS data coming from the 750. Oh, that I don't know. We'd have to get the maintenance guy in the back to let you know on that one. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There's the golf course. Oh, golf course. Time to disconnect the power cart. And there's uh. Okay, there's Orange County. So these. This must be the rich people. <laughs> All right. Let's drop the uh, external power cord. Three, two, one, four. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> you to complain about airplane noise. <laughs> <laughs> that always tripped me out. People will move to an airport and they complain about it. Yeah, exactly. Whoops. That was the worst radio capture ever. Good job, Ryan. Controller's like, oh my god. He's gonna fly all the way to Palm Springs and come back. <laughs> So this is the Microsoft Flight Simulator dystopian version of the Port of Long Beach. The dystopian? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with its weird, grayed out, walking dead, rotted out buildings. Well, you're supposed to buy the upgrade for that. <laughs> you gotta buy the upgrade. Okay, so popper and then uh, over to Sam five two five the direct tornado cross tornado at and five then to the LAX Mule, which is one thirteen six. Direct tornado cross at five thousand cleared Alice two five. All right, we're tech and route. Sam five two five. We're tech route and like the cool kids. So. Sam five two five contact LA Tower one two zero point. 
one two zero nine five seven. That's quite a name for uh, a li uh, for a hold. What's that? Point limbo. Limbo, you're. <laughs> I wish I had that fixed in ZHU. Clear trick limbo. Expect further clearance sometime in the near future. At some point, maybe. Did we lose our uh, techie back there? He's probably trying to figure out what to fail. Oh, joy. So the GPS doesn't work on this thing? So you can't get GPS data from here towers. to here for nav? Is that... See everybody next Because when I select... Yeah, hold on. Radar service terminated. Hold on. 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 Great, he's closing now. It's direct Burbank. <laughs> None of this tech route stuff. Holy, he didn't mess around. He's like, I'm out of here. Probably had a rattlesnake in his garage. <laughs> he had to go deal with that. Okay. Yeah, he just, he bombed host. There was no warning. He was just like, close it up, see you later, goodbye. Direct Burbanks. The fly right over the top of LAX. It's kind of neat. It is actually. Oh, it's kind of weird though. It's so there's like nothing. Well, that's probably because the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator uh, lost its internet connectivity earlier, so it probably didn't load all the. Yeah, but it's supposed to load it all. I mean, it's it's like the draw distances. It's like there's no draw distance. I hope they fix, I hope, what I really hope they do is they fix the draw distance in the vPilot clients um, in the new, in the new coming flight simulator because it's, it's really annoying to not be able to see people until they get like 20, 30 miles away. Like you should be able to see people, right? you know, sooner than that. That would be nice. But yeah, see, like I look down at an airport, it doesn't even look like, it looks like just somebody just scribbled a runway down there. Not very detailed. <laughs> What's that? I'll let you guys find out. Oh, Lord. What did I do? Check your enunciators. Yeah. Yeah, I see it. I see it. You know what? I don't even care. <laughs> I don't even. Care. I did ask that question twice. We looked. We had we had plenty of gas. Well, if he can fly it in on fumes, so can you. I only need airspeed. That's all. That's all I need. Uh, look, I got. You got only 18 miles to go. I got over. I got 6,000 pounds of gas. What's it complaining about? I know, and you've only got uh, 18 nautic miles to go. I honestly don't even know where I'm going at this point. Oh, never mind. I figured it out. Where's Burbank in relation to Silex? No, it's it's so, due east. Uh, due east. Keep really? going. Yeah, look to your east more. Why there you they, go. Oh, they take you. Oh, I see. So, is there an approach that connects from Silex? I bet there is. Oh, I'm sure there is. Uh, let's take a look here. We just look at the charts. So, that's arrivals. Yeah, well, this is how this goes Silex direct to runway 8. Really? Yeah. So there's no arrival. It's just direct. No, I mean, that, that, yeah, on an approach, right? No, I mean, there is no designated star. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just oh. Silex connects to an approach. Yeah, so, all right. So let's take a look here. It should be runway 8. Probably ILS runway 8. Yeah, let's see here. Yep, runway eight. ILS Zulu from Silex. Zulu. And yeah, it's six miles from Silex to touchdown. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I lied. Six miles from Silex to Buddy, and then five miles from Buddy to to Touchdown. So if you want, you can go straight Buddy and intercept, because Buddy has you be at 3,000 feet. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. A thousand to go. So yeah, t I would take Buddy down to you know get down to three thousand and intercept Buddy. B U D D E. Buddy L. Zero seven nine. Man, that gear horn's really aggressive. It's the realism, man. It's the man reminding you who is in charge. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, well, what is it? What did you say, buddy at three? Yeah, buddy at three. We'll just do that. Buddy at three. Hey, uh, Ray, what are the flap speeds for this plane? Uh, anything below 180, you can put down all the flaps. Oh, okay. Same with the gear. 180 is your magic number. I have the airport in sight. Do you? Yep. Oh, yep, I see it. Unlike Catalina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a piece of cake. Final for runway eight, Burbank traffic. Yeah, these yokes are cool, man. They are. They're so awesome. All right, now we're five mile final. So you said anything below 180? Yeah. Okay. Now Burbank traffic, yellow. 209, five mile final for runway eight, Burbank traffic. I was gonna pull him back to low idle to save on gas. <laughs> Good luck with that. Right, turn off the flight track. Oh, look at it. The new uh, World Trade Tower out there. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> That's the obelisk. <laughs> the obelisk, it, yeah. It means something. Oh no, it's Space Odyssey 2024. Yeah, I think I don't think the flight sim recovered from losing the internet. Yeah, because everything's so spiky. There's no yeah. definition. It's just like one giant blur. Yeah, it's a little sketch. That might be puppy doing that too. Oh, that's true. Yeah, but my puppy doesn't do that. My puppy uses papers. <laughs> <laughs> uses scenery pads. Yeah, it uses scenery pads. Yeah, it's weird. It's like it's not drawn anything unless it's within a two mile zone. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Anything beyond two miles, it doesn't draw it. Because even that runway should be more defined than it that. It should be, yeah. I mean, we're yeah, only. It's starting to draw the hills. Yeah, and stuff. We're, I mean, we're three miles from the runway and it's not even defined yet. Yeah, I think it just. I think it had trouble. Recovering. Yeah, something. Yeah, I think it. 
took a squat and never recovered. Yeah, Burbank traffic, yellow 209, short final runway 8. I'll tell you what, they really got the T-tail balloon down well with the addition of flaps. It really wants to pitch over. Man, these rudder pedals feel amazing. Don't they? Yeah, they really do. I want a set so bad. There's a plane right there doing loops. Oh, that's good. Good for you, dude. <laughs> yeah, these are nice. What's your uh, V-Ref speed? 125. Oh, okay, so I'm a little fast. A little fast. It's a good thing. It's a short runway. Five hundred. <laughs> not, for, not for this airplane. Wow, the bottom fell out of that. <laughs> yeah, this looks sketchy. It's starting to pop in though. I know everything. There's that jet. Yeah, everything's now just now starting to yeah pop in. It yeah it shouldn't be doing it so late. Ah, you gotta get used to these. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. You're too scared to put them on the mains after what I did, huh? Uh, yeah. Well. <laughs> Alright, well that was fun. Alright. Wow, oh, the terminal's just right here on your uh, right. Right, that's easy. Oh, these pedals. I gotta get some of these. Aren't they nice? Yeah, these are nice. They're only 600 bucks a piece. This stream brought to you by Verbal and Verbal Rudder Pedals. If you don't have Verbals, you're not flying. <laughs> no, wait. If you don't have Verbals, you're not a real study level pilot. <laughs> yeah, because he, yeah, he's using study level uh, pedals. <laughs> Get your verbals and study level APU exhaust today. <laughs> yeah, Burbank traffic, yellow 209 is clear of runway 8. So... That's kind of appropriate since, since we dropped a ground power card on their head. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was fun. I was Scotsman, man. Good seeing you, sir. Yep. I did cut those out, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. All right, that's good. That's good. That's on. Well, that was fun. Thanks, Ray. Absolutely. My pleasure. Cool. All right. Well, I was Scotsman. Sorry to have missed you, but uh, we're, we've got uh, another appointment coming up, so we're going to bail right away. Yes, we do. Thanks for joining. Appreciate y'all. Yeah, disavow player, good seeing you. I'm ready for the sign off. Who's Beach House? Who's Beach House? <laughs> From the flight deck of YOLO 209. Bye, con Dios, amigos. See ya. You have choices when you fly. That's why the people at YOLO Airlines are surprised when you choose us. Jets are flying. Some days we're really trying. Sometimes it's almost like we can. A family trip, that special friend, an important customer. Whatever your reason to fly, you might get there safely on YOLO Airlines. Some pilots make it look so easy. Every YOLO flight is an adventure. Every in-flight meal, a trip to the lavatory. You'll be really glad to land. We love to fly, but we don't know how. We don't try very hard, and it shows. You'll never be late, because we never depart on time. So sit back, try to relax, and let YOLO pilots point out the sights. Peter says port... Our anus. What? <laughs> the right wing.
Isn't that what he said? Port. <laughs> what? Port. <laughs> Can't even say it. <laughs> That's what it sounds like, right? Port. No, I'm Port Ari. <laughs> Arane Sass, Aaron Sass, <laughs> or Uranus. You only live once. That's the spirit of YOLO Airlines. So when you're ready to fly, there's one airline ready to serve you. Poorly. YOLO, we love to fly and we'll learn somehow. We don't know how to fly and it shows. Crap! We, yeah, we're just, we're done. That didn't go well. <laughs>